What's up guys? Welcome back. Amazing RC. Brian here. Got the Tamiya flatbed trailer. As you can see, we have completed bag D. Now, that consists of the rear bumper, cool little mud flaps here, all of our uprights, our chains, and, which I thought was really cool, these cool little plastic uh, kind of holders on the side. I couldn't figure out what they were for until I saw in the book. It's for little tire chocks, man. So you got a little spot for your tire chocks in there. And as I said in the last video, I did tap all of these holes so that I could just basically remove these uprights anytime I want to without having to remove any of the side rails or all the wood or possibly damage the wood or any other crazy idea. So I went ahead and installed all the uprights now and the chains so you can kind of see what that looks like because the next time you see this, once I'm done with all the lighting, which we'll talk about in just a second, you're not, I'm not going to have the uprights on. I'll probably put them on some other time when I throw a bunch of logs up here. But the first thing we're going to do is probably haul some cars or just the flatbed by itself. I don't know. But I do like about the uprights is, you know, you get some movement. You get some sound and all kinds of cool, you know, motion in here, which I love. Anything that's got movement in it when you're trucking on down the way, I think that's really cool. Next up is going to be the lighting. First, I had these really nice metal light housings, three millimeter LED light housings. I've had them for a long, long time. And they're super duper nice. You know, you, you throw a three millimeter hole in here and, you know, they'll screw in real good bolt from the back, you know, get some, you know, Loctite on there and they're never coming off. And they're, they're probably the nicest light housings that, that I have, I've ever seen, really. I, I thought about putting those in first. However, I don't really have enough. I have five light housings and I want more lights than just two on one side and two on the other. To be honest, I'm kind of thinking of four on each side only because I have five uprights. So I figured in between each upright, we'll do a red light, three millimeter red light, Super duper easy, no big deal. All the wires can go through here, pop out of the front somewhere. Same thing with the, the lights that come in our, our little rear bumper here. Those are gonna come up through a little hole right here, a little hole, and we'll feed all the wires through the front. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with all these little red LEDs. So the, the, the metal housings were out just because I don't have enough. Well, then I've got black plastic housings. You know, I got a ton of those. And I thought, okay, I'll pop the holes in there, have a nice little black bezel around our little red LEDs, and we're good to go. But then I thought about a tiny issue that I think I'm going to run into, uh, so I decided just not to do the housings at all. And the issue I think that we're going to run into is that, you know, you got all your wood up here. Flip it this way. You got all your wood up here, you know, and it's going to be, I'm going to lose all these chains. And they're going to be, you know, just basically planks of wood. Well, they're inset to where this nice metal, you know, siding is. So you're kind of limited as where you can put these lights, you know, basically your depth. And they have to fall under these horizontal braces here. Otherwise, they're going to interfere with your planking. When you go to try to put your nice wood planking in there, you're gonna bump into like the side of a light as it's trying to come in from the side. And I thought against the housings altogether. What I did was I kind of toyed around with how big of a hole I would need just to slide the LED through. And I found that. I don't know what size this is. Uh, it's probably probably one eighth or something. I'll have it, I'll have it not in this description, but when I do the LEDs, I'll put whatever size this is in the description. And what made me think about it is all of your LEDs, three millimeter, you know, five millimeter, 10 millimeter, doesn't really matter what they are. They all have their own little lip and it's just the tiniest little lip on there. So basically what I did was I had a scrap piece of metal and I just started popping holes through it until I found the correct size to where this LED will go through and then stop, bam. So basically what we're gonna get is a really teeny tiny hole right in, the be in between each one of these uprights and then this LED is gonna slide through and you're just gonna get a glass ball. So when the LEDs are not on, you're not gonna see them. I mean, sure, if you look really hard, you might see them but I've already tried it in the scrap metal 
and just a tiny bit of that LED comes through. So you just don't see it at all until you kick the lights on. And then we're going to have a red nice, and they're bright. So we're going to get a bright light in between each one of these uprights right in the metal siding here. So that's going to be the next video. I got to do these LEDs. Like I said, four on each side, nice bright red. And then we've got some five millimeter LEDs in the back here. We're going to have four red, uh, two on each side, and then one orange. Uh, I suppose I could just put white back here because the lenses are colored, but I don't know. I'll probably just put the colors back there. I might even just try them both. Now, I did install the rear bumper just so that we could all see kind of what it looked like, but of course, I'm going to have to pull that back off, uh, just kind of take it apart and uh, install the lights. And like I said, I'll run the wires all the way through here. I will say one other thing that I kind of am scratching my head about. There's a kind of a, a little grommet here you see this little grommet now this comes apart and i'm assuming that all these wires are supposed to run through all the wood planking and then out this hole because it doesn't really mention what this does in the book so i'm assuming this is where the, the wires are supposed to come out now i'm going to put it you know kind of with the grand hauler but to be honest with you if if this is not in the way of anything, then surely I can pop a hole right here in between these four, you know, screws. I think it'll look much better. Plus, it won't have to come out of the wood planking. What they want you to do is they want you to put all your nice wood planking in here and then actually cut a little square out of your deck to where your wires can come out of the deck and through this hole. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave that grommet where it's at. Go ahead and pop a hole through the bottom here. Unless it's in the way of something. That's why I said I'm going to attach it to the, the, the semi here. I don't think it is, but I'm going to check just in case. But I'm going to pop a hole down here. So instead of, you know, four, four screw holes, you're going to get four screw holes and then an extra hole with the wires coming out. So that's basically my idea for the lights. That's going to be the next video. This pretty much concludes, you know, uh, uh, bag D. I, I'm really happy with it. I like uh, the chains are nice and heavy. Uh, I'm super happy that I figured out, you know, the whole tapping the screws because uh, anytime I want to, all I got to do is just grab a little handy dandy here and these pop right off. No problema. And I, I, I wanted to make sure that it could do that, you know, easy access as far as on and off because I've always said it and I'll say it for the 500th time. The flatbed trailer is the chameleon of trailers. Whatever you put on the back of this thing is what the trailer's going to be, you know what I mean? And to be honest with you, I, I keep getting new ideas every day. I was actually at Walmart, I don't know, yesterday or the day before. And I saw in the toy section, because of course I'm in the toy section, they have, and I want to say that they're probably 1 12th scale, maybe 1 14th scale, but they're, they're plastic motorcycles. And they're like real motorcycles. You got Kawasaki Ninjas, you got some CBRs, you got Harley in there. There's like eight different kinds. And I think they're right the right size to where if I had all these uprights off, you can see how easy they come off. You know, get all the uprights off and actually put, you know, eight motorcycles up here, bam, 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 with some little, you know, just to get them to stand up. I don't know, guys. I'm telling you. So you tell me in the comment section what you would put on the back if this was your flatbed. But as I was saying before, guys, bag D is done. Uh, I'm going to get all these uprights off, and then I'm going to start getting started on these uh, these lights because I've got several LEDs. i got a few more holes to, to put in here. And uh, we're going to get this thing to light up like a Christmas tree. I will say this, too. One more thing before I go. I am going to do my best to tie the rear bumper in with the MFC-01 unit for the semi-truck so that when I do hit my turn signals, my turn signals and my brake lights and all that will work on the trailer as well. Now, I realize that that means there's going to be an exposed wire and that, you know, we're going to pick up the trailer and go, but I'm going to have to plug in one little wire. And I'm okay with that. It, rarely am I going to be out, you know, in the field somewhere, you know, if there's, a, you know, something going on in town and I want to bring the semi-trailer up there. 
rarely am I going to be hooking the trailer up on site. Normally it's going to be hooked up, the light's going to be plugged in and we'll be good to go. So I'm not really worried about that either. But look out for the next video guys. We're going to have some LEDs until then. It's Brian, Amazing RC. Thanks for stopping by.